Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. Pardon my mess today. Um, we are in the middle of just doing some more cleaning up. I'm kind of on that digital file cleanup part. You know, um, I have hundreds, actually thousands of sermons laying around on a lot of video formats and things like that. So I'm in the middle of, of converting files. I have like stacks of DVDs I'm converting into digital files haven't gotten to yet so kind of trying to keep everything there the this is kind of like the the calm like the, the the mess before the cleanup you know if you've ever done construction or any of the projects kind of like that you end up making a really big mess before you get everything cleaned up and that's kind of where we're at right now um, here over at the uh, switch to Linux office well one of the things that I'm working towards right now is I have a box of VHS tapes here and I do not need this box of VHS tapes laying around anymore. Um, obviously, the box takes up room, the VCR takes up room, the things are getting old, and, you know, tape only lasts so long. And so what I'm going to be doing here is uh, I'm going to show you how you can use a cheap capture card to uh, convert your old VCR tapes. So, like, you know, and we're not talking about illegally recording video from something else. That's not what we're talking about and that's never something you should do. We're talking about things like back in 1996, I was still a, uh, a late teenager that time, I took a trip to California and I have the whole trip documented on this VCR tape here. Um, in fact, it says here recorded. Wow, I'm gonna give the exact date. Um, but um, I have the whole trip here and I'd like to keep the tape around, but I don't want, or like I'd like to keep the data around, but I don't, you know, obviously the VCRs are going down, they're getting harder to find, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're talking about is to convert these tapes, home movies, things that you have onto a digital format. Now, it took me a little bit to get this, uh, to get this all figured out well. Initially I said we were gonna do it uh, using VLC. And uh, VLC will work, but the problem is you can't control the, um, the, uh, uh, the encoding. You can't control how it records, and it ended up getting to the point where it completely filled up the disk on the first you know, full-length thing I was trying to record. It ended up taking... Um, oh, hold on. Oh, he wants to come up and say hi. Hi, peoples. All right. Um, so... Um, it turns out that using VLC, uh, an hour clip or so of a video end up taking like 50 gigabytes. Well, that's not exactly realistic. So I've been messing around with file formats here most of the day. I'm still trying to get some of the other ones that were uh, passable but still too large converted into a better size. I think I have that figured out and I'm using uh, Caden Live to transcode those videos. Um, so... Um, here I found an old marching band clip. It's like a 25 or so minute clip, and I got this down to 500 megabytes, which is not all that bad, uh, being as that if I, uh, let me come over here. Uh, not that mouse. Huh. My friend is right. I have too many mice on my uh, system here. All right, so these guys over here I'm doing, oh, don't do that. No, stop. Um, all right, so these are 23 or so minute uh, V8 uh, clips from these, and these are about 300 megabytes. So this is still slightly larger, but, but that's okay. Um, it's it's within, the, within the size range that, uh, that I'm looking for here. And so um, what we're going to be doing here is we are going to use OBS to record because it is, um, you know, you can control all the settings a whole lot better. And so we're going to walk through how to do all that. Now, the unfortunate thing for you guys is I'm going to be pointing the camera at the computer screen because while we're doing encoding on this, I probably can't record, especially if I'm using the same program. So I'm recording this on the laptop and I'm going to point the... <laughs> what? You're so cute. You're so cute. I'm going to be pointing the camera at the screen so you can see what I'm doing over there. But I'm actually going to give you a, a quick tour of the stuff. I'm going to move around the um, uh, move around the uh, 
uh, what is it here, the camera to take some Vic pictures and views. So this is kind of going to be cut and paste a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do a lot, a little bit more uh, post-production editing on this one because as I move around the camera, invariably I'm going to knock it out once or twice. I'm going to have to re-record a few things a few times. So unfortunately, Kitty, you got to go. you got to go. All right? I'm going to put the kitty back on the kitty's perch, and then uh, I'll be right back. Whoa, kitty view. All right, um, so here's my basic setup. I have my VCR here just kind of sitting on the floor. So old VCR, bought it back in uh, like 2005, I think. Um, I had a really amazingly good stereo system. The DVD player, or uh, I think it was the DVD player I had at the time broke down. And so I got this joint guy here, which had VCR and DVD. It was funny because the guy, when I bought it at the store, I think I was bought it at a Circuit City. I bought it at a Circuit City, and the guy's like, this thing will probably break within, like, a week, you know? And, yeah, the speakers are still perfectly fine. They work a whole lot better than the crappy, um, already obsolete system I just bought recently to replace this because during a power outage, finally, after 12 years, a power outage finally fried the output circuit. And so the speaker output line doesn't work, but everything else works on it. Um, so this is the VCR. And what I have is, I'm going to try and move the microphone without losing my mic. Okay. All right. So, um, what I have here is I just have basic RCA output cables going over here. And you can see here that the RCA output cables are attached into this, uh, the video codex reader, which is right back over here. Let me uh, put a light on that so you can see it better. So you can see here's the encoder. It's just simply plugged right in using uh, RCA cables that are right here. So it's just using the basic uh, single yellow and the red white for the input lines. All right. So that shows up as a basic video capture device on OBS. Let me see how I can get the screen here showed up a little bit better. And so what I did here with OBS is you just create a simple scene and I'm just doing a, um, now the thing does not show up as its own separate audio, uh, capture device. So if I click on the audio capture device, let's see audio, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I did that. So if I come in here to do an audio capture device, I'm going to create a new one. If I come down and pull it down, you'll see that the thing does not show up. So I actually have to use the default and I have to set my sound system to be using the, uh, the recorder. So up here, and I'm doing this on Ubuntu, um, I'm doing this on Ubuntu uh, Mate. So I'm gonna right click sound preferences and then under input here, um, you can see the easy cap video grabber is the audio input that is selected. So that's my default audio input capture. And that's another reason I'm not going to try and record over, over here is I don't want to mess up all that kind of stuff. All right. So the, let's see, I'm going to delete that new one because I know it was working just fine under my video capture devices. You can see it's USB TV, which is the, the basic. And I pretty much left everything uh, exactly as it was. I wonder if that would turn out better if I hit the uh, if I change the video format to emulate it. But this seems to work just fine, so I'm not going to bother with uh, any of that. So here, let's see. Um, I already pulled in some marching band clips. So this is a marching band clip from uh, my high school days. Actually, I, I'm wanting to say I think this is my brother's uh, marching band clip. I don't recognize the songs here. Although, let me go back to my set. I apologize. Um, my, my mother has no idea how to run a video camera. So it's just like, I have no idea what, she, what she's... Been. I'm pretty sure this is my brother's band. I don't remember any of these songs. All right, so you can see the quality. I mean, it's it's VCR quality. This is not like super scaling up converting, but this is going to allow me to keep the things. We have to remember that as as devices moved around, you know, um, a VCR that like the way a VCR would record was at best like a 600 by 800 resolution, a four by three, 
you know, probably more like a 640 by 480 uh, in pixelage. And uh, as our monitors have gotten better over the years, it looks like the video quality has gotten worse. It's just that our monitors have gotten a lot better. So this is recording pretty good size. Uh, you can see down here from the file size, it's um, 515 megabytes and it was about a 23 minute or so file. So uh, let me show you how I had to get the settings because I did have to change them. Now this is the brand new version of OBS. It's 19.0.0 on Linux here. Um, and so what I needed to do, and I'll actually, I'm going to say that too. I, you did not have to install any software. All I did is plug the capture card right in and it worked perfectly. All right. Now 19 uh, OBS studio 19 has this auto wizard to, to pull in and to give you all your settings. And the, I ran into some challenges and problems with that, that, uh, it, it really gave the system way too many settings, especially for what I'm doing. Now I would not record under the settings for like a switch to Linux video, but to do it right here, um, I came up into my settings and under my output, I'm using advanced, just basically letting this do whatever it does. That's just fine. But under video, I went down to the 1280 by 720. Uh, for the base, I scaled it to 1280 by 720, which basically means it's creating this better. Um, I keep the bicubic here and the 24 uh, NTSC uh, video settings, and that gives me uh, a reasonable frame rate. It could still probably get slightly better, but this is going to be good enough for what I need. It's not going to overrun things. So then the next thing I need to do is simply put the tape in, which I think I already did, and I just need to go ahead and push play. And if I remember correctly, I think this is something from a church that I was in. I think they had a skit at first. I've never been a huge fan of skits at church, but what's after this is there, this was an Easter choir, I recall, and I was singing in the Easter choir. And so I think that's why this tape uh, is still in my collection. So... Um, the downside with Linux version of OBS Studio, now on Windows and Mac this is resolved, but on Linux you cannot monitor the output. So I'm going to look over here, and as this is going, I can see over here that my audio is actually jumping up and down. And that's telling me that it is actually capturing the audio. So you're going to want to do a test record just to verify everything's correct, and then you're going to want to... Um, uh, you're going to want to uh, go ahead and um, um, uh, verify it's working and then record it. I can't monitor the sound. Now on VLC, I can monitor the sound, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't um, uh, allow me to, um, uh, <laughs> to record well. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the start recording. Um, so... Um, and it looks like my OBS, oh, there, there it is. <laughs> my, what happened there is as soon as I started recording, my Caden Live file finished transcoding. So it's like, kind of gave me something goofy. So let me try that again. There we are. Uh, so I hit the start recording and then I can look up in the top and I can see up there my OBS record indicator. The real red dot tells me it is recording. And so... We're going to go ahead and stop recording now and then come over here. And I think this is just saving right here. Yep, it's right here. Um, not sure what happened with my transcoder right there. Um, let, me ver let me open that up. I think the cat might have hit the rewind button. <laughs> Cat's chilling out down here. Yeah, nothing, nothing explains to me why the thing decided to suddenly rewind, so. Okay, now right there, I just pushed the rewind button. All right. So, um, over here is that file, so that little, you know, minute or so, whatever, is 5.3 megabytes. Open this up, and you can see here that it is, um, the audio is working fine. So that is, uh, that is uh, how you're getting the recording down. 
So that's actually nice and easy. Um, let me go ahead and show you what I had to do here with VLC. Um, close that. And we're going to close OBS because I can't run them both at the same time. Now with VLC, um, I actually had to fight with it, VLC a little bit. And I'm not completely sure what the problem is. Um, but the what seems to happen is that... Uh, the audio never picks up unless the VCR is playing first. And I had to come up into the audio, verify that the, that the video capture device was going through the audio. Then I come down into media, hit open capture device, and then under capture device, pick the video camera, and then video device is video zero. And the audio here, this one might jump around a little bit. There's probably some terminal commands to figure out exactly which one is grabbing the audio. If I come over here, you'll see that it is definitely playing, but there's no audio, okay? So I had to come in here a few times and fight with it to get the audio to actually work. It might be this one here. So there, now the audio is working. But if I if I hit the record now, it will record. But the problem with VLC is that I can't set how it's recording. And so because I cannot set how it is recording, uh, since I cannot set all of that, then um, the... Uh, the file size ends up just being absolutely huge. And then I'm trying to figure out how to get it all transcoded down a little bit. I think this is me over here. This this guy bobbing back and forth in this in, in the ugly suit. I think that's me. Um, so that's kind of how you do it through VLC. Um, I do want to grab this, this part here. Um, if it's decent, I don't know. I think I probably will. I'll grab it regardless and then uh, get rid of the tape after that. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is how you can use your uh, video encoder. This is, again, just some cheap, uh, I think I paid $15 for it or something online, some cheap Chinese-made video encoder, but it plugs right on into Linux. I had no problem with VLC. The limitations with that were simply limitations with the VLC. Okay, so there you have it. Um, we used uh, both VLC to record and my preferred is OBS to record. So that way you can go through your VCR tapes, which is an old dead dying technology, convert all those to your uh, digital formats, make sure you have saved backup copies, backup files. And you know, I mean, even these, these tapes, they will go defunct after a while. You could make a duplicate copy. Just like digital files, you know, I mean, you could lose, uh, you know, lose some uh, uh, some quality over time by copying and recopying them. But your digital files are going to last a whole lot longer, especially if you have a good solid backup plan in place just to make sure that uh, that your data is being preserved and that your data is being um, uh, you know, being properly saved. So there is uh, how you can just spend a little bit of money and eh, I'm finding quite a bit of time uh, to transcode a lot of your old VHS tapes into digital formats so that you can, you know, continue to enjoy them going into the future. So I have been having a grand time going through memory lane. Um, I hope that you enjoy um, taking time to do that stuff as well. And uh, this is, uh, you know, yet another great, great um, application of Linux is just being able to plug this stuff right in, utilizing open source free software and making a copy, uh, a digital copy of, of my, um, my files onto, uh, uh, onto the computer. So uh, with that being said, um, thanks for stopping by here at uh, Switch to Linux. Uh, don't forget that if you would like to help support the channel, you can support the channel on Patreon. Um, and there's also, you can also support the channel on Amazon. And uh, I will have a link to this guy down here in the, uh, down there in the um, uh, comments. And so if you'd like to pick one of these up, uh, there will be a link down there to do that. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope that you have a great time switching to Linux.